All right, so we're heading out game hunting. This is the first time in, out game hunting in a very long time. Heading out op shops, pawn shops, see what we find. And I've actually set up some Facebook deals along the way. So today I'm joined by the two best co-pilots I could ever ask for. We've got Beck, and then we've got Baby Link, which you can see in the mirror, our gamer in the making. So let's head out and see how we do. Now we started thrifting and I compare thrifting in our area to a fallout wasteland. If your niche is video games, it's very rare that you will find anything. We hit up about six op shops in which we found no games that we really wanted to add to our collection. However, it was still fun having back with me and my good luck charm Wee Man Link, and he actually did bring us some luck. We walked into an op shop and I found this Huey little plush from uh, Huey from Donald Duck series. The lady took one look at Link and was like, ah, oh, don't worry, you can just have it. So we got this for free. So I think Link is a little bit of a good luck charm. After the hit and miss in the op shops, it was actually time to hit up somewhere new. I actually consider this an op shop. But as soon as we got there, this is the place, the type of place that I love to hunt. Junk everywhere. Literally, you walk in and there's no method to the madness. Yes, some of the DVDs are kept together, but finding random VHSs in boxes mixed with fabrics, there's just stuff everywhere. Now, we're definitely gonna go back to this place because they do have vintage electronics like TVs, VHS players and that. And it basically is just wanting a couple of bucks for things in this uh, tip shop. So we haven't had much luck so far. So we're moving on and trust me, we do get there. We do get some amazing finds and they are coming soon. All right, and it's time for a stop off in a shopping center. I actually did a trade up challenge. We got this. Spider-Man 2 digital faceplate. Um, we managed to pre-order this because I wasn't sure whether we're actually gonna be able to afford the console or not. Instead of selling it on eBay, I thought why not do a trade post on Facebook Marketplace to see what we got. And we got something pretty good. I'm happy with this, let's go pick it up. Now, as you can see, for that faceplate, we walked away with a full bag of goodies. I think this is an amazing deal on my part. Now, one thing I will say with this is some people may see this and say like, whoa, that's way too much for what you gave. Now, this faceplate is no longer available on eBay. It sells for about 240 Australian dollars. And I just put up this listing asking people things that people weren't interested in anymore. When we did this trade, I'm like, are you sure you're happy with this trade? This is what you're getting. This is what you're offering me. He assured me that he was happy with this trade and I'm pretty stoked with what I got. So let's have a closer look. Firstly, we've got the 2DS console. Uh, now, this is not the new 2DS, unfortunately. It's in pretty good condition, needs a clean, and it comes with Mario Kart 7 installed, and you also have the charger as well, which adds quite a bit of value if you've got the charger with it. Luigi's Mansion 2. This is probably one of my favorite games on this console. This is A Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, which is a direct sequel to A Link to the Past. Star Fox 64 3D. This is another one I really wanted to be playing. I remember seeing this in the Xbox One, even maybe Xbox 360 era, and it looked really interesting, being some sort of like puzzle platformer. So I'm definitely, this one is gonna be a keeper for sure. Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. Everything is awesome. Everything is great when you're part of a team. We have the Lego Movie. Lego Avengers, I've played this on the Xbox One. I'm not sure how different this version is other than it may be a down res version. Another Lego Jurassic Park is Lord of the Rings Lego. Uh, for the Nintendo DS. But it does not end there. There are also a bunch of 3DS games as well. Nothing really of interest to me because I don't collect for the PlayStation 3. I don't even own a PlayStation 3. But nonetheless, these games can be used for trade or sell. 
some of them aren't worth much. Prince of Persia. WWE 2012 WrestleMania Edition. Untold Legends Dark Kingdom in an EV Games case. G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. I didn't even know there was a G.I. Joe game on there. Masters Collections Edition. We've got Inversion, another game I know nothing about. Probably one of my favorite games that I played on the Xbox 360. One of them, one of them. Arkham Asylum, however, I do prefer Arkham City. Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, Tom Clancy End War, Time Crisis Blazing Storm, Little Big Planet Karting, Motor Storm, Assassin's Creed, and an absolute banger, in my opinion, and a must own either on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, or I think they re released it maybe for the Switch. Um, as part of like a bundle with Fractured Butthole. You guess where I'm going with this? South Park, the stick of truth. Watch out for those sagging balls. After we had had lunch, it was time for another Facebook Marketplace pickup. And this one turned out to be a, a bit of a doozy. Facebook Marketplace pickup. Everything going into stores is pretty bare bones. So looked on Facebook Marketplace and seen something that I actively collect that a lot of people undervalue. That's these things right here, the Xbox 360 faceplates. I actively collect these, I love these, and this was 10 bucks. New, it's uh, one for the Project Gotham 3 Racing, rest in peace. And I asked him, what else did you have? As always, it's a good tip when you're collecting to use that. We have this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Now this is official. This is only released in retail in Australia. And oh my God, I love this. This was also $10. And it doesn't stop there. He also had some other cheap games, nothing like expensive that he was willing to sell. However, we will be going back later. So stay tuned for that, uh, for some pricey games. Um, we got James Pond, codename Robocod. And I can't stress enough, these are in light new condition. Unreal Tournament, each of these were $5. Now, uh, as I said, they're not really expensive games, but I want to actually play them. A Celebrity Deathmatch. We've got Nano Stray. Now this, uh, the sequel to this is actually a fairly expensive DS game. It's a shmup and I love my shmups. Holy shit, we got a loose disc. The John Wick 2. I don't know where that came from. That doesn't matter. Uh, Doctor Who, because it's Doctor Who. It looks like a really, bad games and if you see top trumps it's probably gonna be bad get mark echoes getting up this is like a graffiti game so know nothing about it like interesting and lastly this is one before christmas i want to play all the home alone games so i don't have this one it looks really weird because it's home alone not home alone 4 and it looks like you can play as all four children uh kevin kelly carl and Carly, so I will definitely be playing this around Christmas and uh, putting it on the YouTube plan, uh, YouTube channel with a playthrough and thoughts as well as the Mega Drive games. But we're gonna go back there later because he had some banger DS games. I offered 400 for the lot, but he said he wanted to look up prices. So I don't know what he's gonna come back with those prices. We will head back later and hopefully we'll be able to pick up the lot. If not, hopefully pick up some bangers. While we were waiting for him to get back to us or with the pricing he wanted for the other games that he was potentially interested in selling, we decided to hit up some uh, some pawnbrokers. Now, pawnbrokers, uh, otherwise known as pawn shops or uh, cash exchange, I don't know, whatever you call them in your country, are pretty stocked in Australia. However, when you pick up a game, the disc can be fairly scratched the condition can be pretty poor and they can be priced accordingly, even higher than eBay. But there are a lot of collectibles and a lot of deals to find in these places if you're willing to spend the time looking. We weren't adding any pop culture items today and I thought we were done and that was it, but we managed to catch one Pawn shop absolutely dropping the ball on a price of one game. I could not believe it when I saw it. That game is 
Robotector 2, The Return of the Evil Forces, otherwise known as Super Contra in North America. Why is it called something in Europe? Well, Germany did not allow any games where people were shooting other people, meaning that popular games, popular brands got reskinned, whereby in this instance, you're shooting robots and in some cases, I believe aliens in this, instead of humans like in Super Contra. Now, this game was $29.99, so $30, including tax. This goes for anywhere between $110, $200. And this was priced lower than some of the other games. I really always wanted this in the collection for a good price. So this is a definite keeper and I'm only collecting carts now. So even in Australia, you can catch them slipping. And this is a fantastic game to add to the collection. Even though there is a little bit of label dirt, I can definitely clean that up. We are still not done. We've got one more thing to do. That guy did come back to us and we got some great DS games. And we are back. We've got one, two, three, four, five DS games. They're like basically brand new almost. The condition these things are in is absolutely insane. Now I'm, we'll show you all later in the video what these are. And trust me, there are some bangers just showing the, uh, the front too. Now, there was one thing that was slightly disappointing with these. I thought that these were the Oz PAL versions of the game, but instead, these were all the NTSC versions of the game. They were fairly priced accordingly based off them being the NTSC versions instead of the PAL versions. However, I am lucky where one of these games is worth quite a bit in the North American uh, region, whereby I can sell it and maybe one other and make my money back for the others. That one is Snowboard Kids. Now, I love Snowboard Kids on the Nintendo 64. It was probably one of the games that I played the most with my brother in party mode. And I saw this and I really wanted to give it a go. Safe to say, it sucks. This is nothing like the game on the Nintendo 64. So I'm more than happy to sell this. Partners in Time is one I've always wanted to add and all these are in like new condition. The condition on these is absolutely insane. So I'm happy to have that for the price I paid. Another one is a Keeper Metroid Prime Pinball. And yes, it does come with the hard to find rumble pack included. That is lost a lot of the time. We've got Touch the Dead, which is another one I believe is worth a little bit, and another one I may sell to pay for the lot. And lastly, Mario Hoops 3 on 3. I just absolutely love the box art on this with Donkey Kong, sorry, with Mario dunking on Donkey Kong. What do you guys think of our finds? Uh, this is three days of finds. I am actually super happy with what we got. This is actually a really good haul for us in our area without me doing a huge deal like collection buyout. So let me know, is there anything that I should really be playing that I skipped over? Anything that you guys like? What did you think of that trade deal? I'm absolutely wrapped and I'm also super wrapped about finding this in the wild. Never thought that would happen. If you like this kind of content, remember to hit that like button. If you feel like you would like to, you can also add a comment below. I will reply to every comment, no matter what it is. So feel free to comment. And until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. Probably have another one of these videos in a month after we return from PAX. Stay tuned for PAX videos. Until next time, happy gaming.